Hey guys, happy Monday. Today was a crazy start to my morning. I woke up and I didn't want to get out of bed and I was running a little behind. And then um, the weekend was uh, pretty bad weather. And so I started to feel pretty anxious about driving and my anxiety was like at an all time high. It was really strange. I, um, I, I was getting nervous driving behind semi trucks. I just kept uh, fearing for uh, like sheets of ice. You know how they can fly off semi trucks and like hit your windshield, and they cause accidents and they really hurt people. And and I actually had a friend who survived that um, barely, um, and I still remember the images of his vehicle and stuff. So I just I could not pass the semi on the interstate today like so I stayed in this slow lane and I stayed pretty far back and then uh, even when I got to work the the parking lot was not um, cleared the best and so um, I found myself like shuffling my feet like I was just n nervous I had my arms full I had my computer I had my purse I was nervous like beyond what was necessary um, about taking a spill and injuring my knee that I, you know, just had surgery on. It was just not necessary. My, my anxiety was like really beating the tar out of me this morning and I do not know why it's just been worse than ever. Um, I did sit down and make a few goals this weekend, um, regarding, um, this year and one of them is uh, I want to get serious about therapy and and um, and working on some just like the anxiety and and, and yeah anyway it's so weird though how you could be like fine 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 like fine for and then have just have like a really hard morning for no apparent reason whatsoever um yeah but again i don't think it's like no apparent reason it really freaked me out that my friend was hurt and then you can't unsee things like you know his interior which looked like a, a blood-soaked pollock painting and um thank god he's all right he is fully recovered and has a beautiful funny wife and um an excellent home he's back in excellent health but still oh my golly um yeah i just couldn't imagine i'm feeling pretty today though you know that's nice i think god the roads are much better this afternoon now it's just um snow all along the edges of the highway and the trees are still covered in snow. Looks like one of those um, Hallmark movies where they're driving through like the winter wonderland. Oh my goodness, I could not focus though today because of the life thing like the being so anxious this morning for no apparent reason really like uh got me uh inside my head all day and i was like what the heck was that about yeah so no but uh and then today i just i had the whole weekend but i went to my parents house and i stayed one day and then i had my other friend's birthday party and I stayed way too late there and we ate a bunch of junk food and we talked about boys um and then uh Sunday was like of course I had to sleep in because I was recovering from the party on Saturday thank god that church was canceled because I teach Sunday school and I was not up for it on Sunday um just because we, we I think I was out to like um it had to have been after 2.33 or so. Yeah, so I slip in and that was nice. But I, having done that, I still have not actually picked up my 
living room, which is destroyed because I had every intention last week to try that tidying up technique where you pull all your clothes out into the living room and then you go through them. And I do have a, a small little pile of stuff that I'm like willing to get rid of, but I, I like, if I'm being honest with myself, that is not enough things that I've gotten rid of because I didn't even pull, like, the way the lady says on the show, pull every article of clothing from your house. Well, as a single lady with where all the closets are mine, all the dressers are mine, like, if I pulled every article of clothing into my living room, it would look like one of those um, outlet clothing stores where the racks are, like, shoved together and, and barely, um, you can barely get every hanger on there. That's what, like, what my closets look like. It's it's crazy. So I do have to get rid of stuff. I know if I do that, I will be organized and I will be able to find the clothes that I like. But, uh, so, come on, Lord, give me some gumption. Um, but yeah, and then I, yeah, I'm gonna, so my goal is to get some gumption, get the house cleaned up, because I know that's good for my mental health. I'm actually gonna schedule the appointment and pull the trigger on getting my braces because I I've gone through my whole life with crooked teeth and I've never ever ever <laughs> I, I never do. I always put myself in the back burner and this will be the one thing that I want and then that I'm excited about and then I won't I probably won't do anything for me again for a long, long time, but that's that's okay because I really don't need anything else. And there's something else that I really that's really weighed on my heart like this. So um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I really do feel pretty today. I think my eyebrows are on point. I don't know. Uh. Day, so we all went over there and we ate a ton of junk food and we sat around talking and I was dying laughing. We all, of course, just talk about our relationships and our dating life and um, I kid you not, one of my friends will call her Jessica. Um, <laughs> she's been dating um, and she was telling me about this date that she had gone on where, I kid you not, the guy could not be out after dark for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> and so she was pretty sure it was a big fat no, but she gave the guy a second date just to be sure. And um, yeah, so that didn't go anywhere. But when she was telling us about this guy, we were like dying laughing. And then of course, it was my turn to talk about my dating life and how my friends are totally ratchet. I was gonna name my girl gang uh, the Boy Scouts because it's their job to scout me a boyfriend because like Meghan Markle's uh, friends got her a freaking prince. So what are my friends doing? No, they're totally ratchet. So my girl gang, the Boy Scouts, are getting patches for, you know, getting me like 12 ex or parolees, 11 narcissists, 10 basement trolls, you know, things like that. And uh, they should be ashamed. And I was telling them that because my life is not the nowhere near Meghan Markle's. I gotta get some better friends. And they were laughing and apologetic. And I told them the worst one is, you know how the, the song 12 Days of Christmas ends in a partridge in a pear tree. Mine is always and an X with a lame apology because I do not understand. Like when it's over, it's supposed to be over. And they just come out of the woodwork and just want to talk like we're friends. And not that you can't be friends. I'm just not because I, don't, I just don't end things lightly. Usually it's a trust issue. Like if I, if, yeah, they, but by trust, it's not I don't have trust. It's that they've lied or manipulated to 
So, like, I don't give people the benefit of the doubt. But, uh, but I also have self-respect, so. Like, yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah, and so then I had to tell them the story about the guy I dated back in November of 2017. And, uh, how we're still pin pals just in case we don't want to die alone. And they were freaking dying. And, um. I don't know. Like, there's, no, there's been some really amazing guys who've shown interest. Um, but then, you know, there's, there are the creepers. Like, the dude who DM'd me to tell me that I needed a man, which I thought was totally backwards. What year is it? And so I said, so I, you know, asked him if he knew any. And for some reason, he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, apparently that will hurt people's feelings. But, you know, pointing out the things that people are lacking, like, you need a man, ladies, you do not need, uh, or gentlemen, or whatever, you do not need a significant other, you need family, you need friends, you need a support system, you need self-respect, um, if you have a, an intimate relationship, it, 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 it's a bonus, is what it is, uh, but if you have those other things, like, and you, um, take care of them, and you really nurture them, then, like, you really don't feel like you're missing out on anything, so, yeah, uh, so there's that, but, and then, oh my gosh, this weekend, well, Friday night, I went to my parents' house, and I stayed the night, usually when I crash there, like, all of us are out of the house, except for my kid sister, who is 14, her birthday is February, uh, which we've totally got to plan something because since we're all out of the house, we, it's, you know, and her being the youngest and they've done all the birthdays, she kind of gets like, you know, like when you have the first kid and you, and you take a ton of pictures, but then your last kid, you take none. It's, she's got that thing where first kids had big birthday parties and she's the last kid and she doesn't get them. But to be fair, with all of us kids, when we were at home, we were poor and my sister is spoiled rotten to my well, she doesn't get as many photos taken of her and she doesn't get the big fabulous birthday parties planned because, you know, my parents are just, um, they already did it six times and they're over it. Um, seven times. They already did it seven times. Six, she's the seventh. So, um, yeah. So I just said, girl, all your sisters are old enough. Just make your own Facebook post and tell us which Saturday we're going to be there and we'll bring you presents and food. But she doesn't. I don't know why she doesn't. So I guess I need to do it. Um, yeah, but so when I stay with my parents, I just crashed with my kid sister. Because she has this mattress, and I kid you not, it has like six inches of memory foam on the top of the thing. So basically, if you get in her bed, you just like can't get out again. You need like a friend to, it's like quicksand. You need a friend to like pull your arms and, and, and your body on suction cups, and then you roll out of the thing. But she was freaking cracking me up. This is the same sister I had uh, done a rant about around Christmas because, you know, she's young and she's got a first boyfriend and I really don't like this kid. I don't think he's a good influence. And I, I think he had her distracted from the things that were important, like her friends and her family. And he had her brooding. And But, you know, she's been away from him for a while now. And she's really, like, back to her old self. And she was, like racking us up. Like, I'm not even kidding. I almost peed my pants. She was like, like, <laughs> gassy and, and, um, freaking, I was like, why do you smell like mildew? And I was, <laughs> she's like, oh my gosh, she was just so funny. And like, my family has like no boundaries. My, um, I, and I joke about that because I, I've mentioned before in my other, in my other posts that I was adopted. And so, for me, like, right after being adopted, you know, like, when you grow up in the foster system, and this is not true for everybody, I don't want to generalize, but for me, I grew up in the foster care system, and, you know, with, like, foster parents and extended family, and not, like, family family, so I wasn't, like, super affectionate or super open and um so these were things like I had to learn when my dad married into this giant family they have like no boundaries and it cracks me up and I finally got used to it like they pee with the door open <laughs> they um like 
if, if you don't like being hugged or, or squeezed or touched too bad, you're just gonna get used to it. And, and you really do, and I'm super grateful for it because I used to feel like such a weirdo because like even my close friends, you know, they'd kiss their parents and I was like, that's just so weird to me. But it's just because I didn't have traditional parents. And, um, and so uh, I've gotten much better. It, it took a long time, but um, yeah, I love my family. Seriously, Friday was so much fun. I, oh gosh, I laughed so hard. I laughed, my kid sister, she does this impression too of this woman. I am assuming she must be like Slovakian or German. It's like the accent that she does. And she purposely like creates as many chins as she can create. And then she like throws out these ridiculous pickup lines that are insane. So she, I think she calls her persona Helga and so she's like like one of the pickup lines she did on Snapchat and she said to me my gosh I wish you could say those was like she did the Helga voice and she's like so are you saying you want to be more than cousins and I was like gross <laughs> but it was so funny and you just have to see her do it and I'm just glad she's back to her old self um yeah, because she's so smart and she's so beautiful and I don't want her to miss out on this time in her life and um, memories with her friends or her families because of a boy. And even if even if the fairy tale comes true and they wind up, you know, happily ever after, it's very rare, but, but it's not impossible. Even if that's the case, I don't want her to resent him in the long run that she like became obsessed and forgot about everything else. She's, I don't want her looking back and having regret and wishing she had like been more present and made more memories. So, uh -oh. yeah. But you, you know how long these last. You know how long it takes me to get home. I am just about there. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I am so glad to talk to you today. Um, especially with the weird anxiety thing that happened this morning. I'm gonna have some wine. <laughs> no, I um, obviously don't want to self-medicate. If you do struggle with anxiety and stuff, you really should talk to somebody. Um, do not self. Ooh, did y'all hear that? Do not self-medicate um, because that can lead to bigger problems. So, I am gonna get on the phone tonight. I think and get some local. Um, doctors that I can go talk to and then um yeah because today was the worst day that I've experienced in a very very long time so and I'll keep you posted on that and fingers crossed I actually get some of these clothes put away tonight um and I will do my best to keep you uh in the know just like this we'll do some um uh, journaling I guess uh, each and every, I, well, I, not each and every day, but several times a week. Anyway, as I like to say to end these things, um, you should know that you are loved. You were made for a reason. And if you don't know it now, that doesn't mean you never will know what the reason for, what, what the reason is. Um, and even on your worst days, and your worst lies, they're, they're not true. You're, you're loved, you're wanted, you have a purpose. Um, so don't give up. And um, I hope to see you again. Anyway.